Hey guys, in this day and age on YouTube, sometimes when you subscribe to somebody, it doesn't tell you when they upload. So, if you haven't hit that little notification bell under my videos, uh, go ahead and do so, so it actually tells you when I upload. It's amazing, isn't it? Or, you can just join my Discord where I post all my new videos right when I upload. With that, on with the video. Oh no, okay, careful. Careful, whoa, oh, careful, don't hit the cone, you hit the cone! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to a new game for the channel that goes by the name of Pure Rock Crawling, the game where you crawl on rocks. It's it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm glad this came out because I can now fulfill that fantasy. Anyway, I know what you're thinking. Neil, this game came out like a week ago. Why are you just now playing it? Well, I mean, I, I bought the game the day it came out and it was sitting in my Steam library and I was like, maybe I should record this and upload it. I'm sure people would like to see it, but then I was also like, maybe I should, uh, Maybe I should just watch Netflix all day and not get any work done. So, that's why I haven't posted it yet. I apologize, but I'm here now, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. Hopefully, I did play this game a little bit before recording. Like, maybe even, like, 45 minutes, and I got to, like, level 6. So, you level up pretty fast in this game, and the way it's set up is there's a bunch of levels, and you got to drive over the rocks and get to the end and not hit the cones. It's a pretty simple game, but it does one thing well. With the thing you would want it to do well. It does rock crawling well. So with that, I'm going to stop blabbering. Well, I'm going to not stop blabbering. But we're going to actually get into the game and then I'm going to blabber over that. Anyway, we're going to click start. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to click start and I have three vehicles. I have this little Jeep thing or a Land Rover. I, I think it's supposed to be a Land Rover. And then we have like a truck. Like, a, I don't know, just an off-road truck. And then we have like a Hilux? Helix? I think it's supposed to be a Toyota Helix. There's no actual cars in this game, of course, because it's a very, very small indie game. I think it's probably made by one guy. But this is my favorite that I have so far. There's some really awesome ones out over here, though. If I get to level 9, that's only like three levels away, I can get this like dune buggy crawler thing. So, if you guys want to see more episodes of this, by the way, and you want to see me drive this thing, make sure to hit that like button down below. It shows that you like the series and that you want to see more. All right, so let's just drive this one. And I don't really like this state. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just a lot of rocks. It's not the most interesting scenery. So, I'm actually going to go to stage two, or the, the desert map. I kind of screwed up stage two here. So, we're going to do this again and see if we can get those sweet, sweet three stars, baby. Alrighty, so we're in and you will notice a few things one this game is very very pretty, but very very simple There's no UI at all and two it has deformable tires, which is always a nice touch The only other games I've seen do that are spin tires and beam and G drive and I know I'm gonna try not to do it a lot But this game is very similar to spin tires more of a toned down kind of arcade version of spin tires but still very very similar so you can kind of see what's going on here you got to drive through these very very small very very small openings here with the cones and if you hit them you get a point off it's very brutal and I'm already stuck aren't I hold on there you go there you go that's what I'm talking about so got a question for you guys out there any of you guys been rock crawling like, like I'm talking hardcore rock crawling like 90 degrees up a cliff on either side you will die if you fall rock crawling I don't even know if that's legal but have you ever been rock crawling if you have let me know oh I almost hit that if you have been rock crawling oh <laughs> I hit it oh it's it's fine it's just one and I already have a three stars on this map so I'm not too worried about it am I stuck okay I'm not stuck but yeah rock crawling is something I would love to do but the, the truth of the matter is there's not a lot of good rock crawling spots around where I live I live in a very Midwestern part of the country so there's not I mean there's hills and stuff but there really isn't any any stuff like this so I don't know when I would get the opportunity but if I ever do in my life I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that chance because it just looks like a ton of fun but at the same time it just seems very nerve-wracking because you're not getting very far I, I guess the I guess the thrill is getting to the top and they accomplish the accomplishment you get at the top but I feel like it's just so Nerve-wracking any anything you do could just end in disaster super fast. Oh, I'm bouncing all over the place And you're just gonna get <laughs> it sounds like I'm complaining about rock crawling a lot I'm not I'm not I'm sure it's a lot of fun It just seems like you would get knocked around a lot and just wake up with a monster headache the next day or various Various bruised bones and hurting stuff. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a time limit on this I have three minutes and I'm doing pretty good so far, but I imagine in the uh, upper levels. Ooh, that is not a good place to be. Come on. There you go. There you go. Don't hit any cones. 
I imagine later on in this game it's going to be a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tightly compacted maps with a very, very low amount of time. So it might get pretty difficult. But from what I played so far, it's actually not a very hard game at all. You just kind of got to know where to drive and how to not get your truck stuck like I just did. But if you do get it stuck, you can actually push B and it'll like kick your car up if you are like really stuck. That didn't help me at all there. I just, I just wasted one actually. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Come on. What am I even getting stuck on here? Oh, okay. Let's approach this differently. See, this is what I mean. It's very slow, but I guess the reward is big. It's just, it's very, very tedious. Okay, okay. I wish I could have just a little bit more room between the cones, man. Is that not possible? How the heck am I supposed to get through here? I just, oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that is not a good place to be. Get out of it. There you go. Wow. I was like, <laughs> I almost hung myself on this rock. Is that even possible with a truck? I don't think it is. Come on. Push through. There you go. There you go. Okay, let's pick up speed. There you go. Just don't get stuck on any rocks. That'd be great. Oh, oh okay. I remember this part. It's a bit difficult. There's a hole you can fall in. Probably don't want to do that. That'd probably ruin our whole day. And there we go. So that's the ninth one. I believe there's 10 or is there 11? I think there's actually 11. So, oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was close. <laughs> My palms are sweaty. Hold on, I gotta wipe them off. This game, this is a very uh, palm sweatingly. Did I just turn that into a verb? I think it did. But you, get, you guys get what I'm saying. It, it makes your palms sweaty, this game. All right, so what would I add to this game in the future? Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> anyway, what would I add to this game? I think it would be kind of cool to have a first person mode. I mean, I know that makes rock crawling just incredibly. Oh! Did it give me? Master of Crawl. I'm getting achievements left and right. All right. Okay. So we already had a three stars on that, but let's go to the next stage and see if we can get a. No! What did I do? Oh, I went back. No. No. Please let me go back to that level. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Stage. I got to do that level again. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me, mate. Okay. Well. I'm just going to get back to where we were, and then we'll we'll see stage two, okay? With the magic of editing, you don't have to watch it. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no, no. No, no. Don't do this to me. Flip it over. Yes. Yes, that kick actually saved me. Beautiful. All right, where am I? And bada-bing, bada-boom. There we go. We did terrible. <laughs> well, actually, not terrible, but... Uh, we, we did, uh, run over two of the cones, and I was just absolutely blazing through that thing. I was just going through it as fast as I can. So I think that's pretty good. All right. Gotta click next stage. I don't know what I clicked last time. I just pushed A because I thought it would work, but apparently it didn't. It reset me. So now we can go on to the next stage, and I can hopefully nail it. Whoa, buddy. I forgot how steep this one was. Okay, don't screw it up. Just, I can't hit any cones. Well, I might be able to hit one. I don't know. I don't know what the threshold is for getting three stars or two stars so i'm just gonna try not to hit any and if i if i hit one i mean it's gonna sting a bit but i'll keep going but uh what was i talking about before oh yeah stuff i would add to the game the first person i think first person be, would be cool i mean the, the interior doesn't necessarily need to be like super detailed because i know that would kind of slow down the game but just like a first person mode would be kind of cool did i just hit that what i was nowhere near that thing you're kidding me Okay, okay, I can see how this game might be kind of frustrating at times. Which way am I supposed to go? Hello? Oh, no, I'm lost. How'd I get lost? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> idiot, idiot, idiot. I was wasting time there. Now I only have four minutes. Actually, that's it. No! <laughs> oh, my, my skills are slipping, ladies and gentlemen. It's all going downhill. Literally and figuratively here in figuratively. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, oh, beautiful. All right, so let's uh, let's, uh, let's let's shift up. There we go. That's gonna help us a lot. We're a lot slighted. No! <laughs> oh no, we're not gonna get three stars, are we? No way. In a flipping heck. Are we taking a right turn? Yes, we are. All right, straight up the rock face. No, this way. This way, mate. There you go. You got it, man. And we're too slippery. Okay, shift it back down. Shift it back down because we're we're not. Oh! Oh yeah, beast mode! That's what I'm talking about. That doesn't seem like it should be possible. But I've seen stuff like that happen in actual videos, so I know it is. It's just, it's so crazy that we can build trucks that can go over just sheer rocks, man. 
It's it's brutal. There's no other word to describe it. It's brutal, and I love it. And I know some other YouTubers have said it already, but another cool thing... Can I get... Uh-oh. No, no, no. Get off that. Another cool thing that would be... Did I just do it again? Okay, there we go. Another cool thing that I would like to see added in the game would be damage, of course. And even if it's just kind of like... Ooh, even if it's just kind of like um, spin tires damage, which is not the best, but it's still there. It adds immersion, you know what I mean? And I did not get a three stars. You know what? Screw it, though. I want to change the scenery. So... I think I've unlocked the next, uh, arena, so, let's see, yeah, I'll take that again. Can I go to the next one? Yes, I can! All right, it looks like a lush tropical island? Not really sure. It kind of looks like the first one, but we're gonna try it anyway. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I th it's pretty much, this is pretty much what the first, uh, level looked like, guys. Why is my voice going out? <clears throat> anyway, this is pretty much what the first level looked like, only there's a lot more trees, so a lot more stuff. For me to run into, oh god. Okay, maybe I maybe I should have chosen the first truck because the first truck sucks, but it's very small, so it can nimble through all this stuff a little bit easier. But I think I should be okay. This is a pretty wide open map, and by that I mean not at all. But it, it <laughs> oh no, man, I don't know. I feel I feel like this truck's gonna do just fine. It's not like super enclosed, is what I'm trying to say. So I think I think this truck will be just fine. I did try the like more traditional looking truck and it it just completely sucked. It's way too big. It couldn't oh, uh, couldn't skip. Ah, uh, no, okay, I'm going to take the L there. It couldn't get through anything without without hitting a cone. Where the heck am I going? Okay, so that's 4. Where's 5? Is that 5 over there? That's 8. Okay, I'm just going to keep going this way. Oh yeah, I see 5 over there. Cool. Do I go around this way? Or do I have to go up here somehow? I, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Sometimes the they like most of the checkpoints are like really close to each other, but then there'll be ones that are like across the map, and you're like, where the heck do I go? I have no idea. Oh, don't get stuck on the rocks. Oh, I thought I was gonna perch myself up there. Never to return. Uh, mm, yeah, just 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 throw yourself over there, man. Man, my guy on there. There's no guy in there, of course, but if there was a guy in there, he'd just be getting tossed around like a freaking rag doll. That, that's another thing spin tires have has that would be kind of cool in this game. As well, that looks really steep. Oh no, okay, careful, careful, whoa, careful, don't hit the cone, you hit the cone! <sighs> That's just great. This is a super dangerous, oh my god. I'm not trying to nosedive, that would probably not be good. There you go, that's how, that's how it's done. Okay, okay, is that a statue? Rocks don't just, uh, usually form like that, obviously, obviously it's aliens, but uh, I'm not gonna pay attention to it because I'm too busy rock crawling, buddy. Okay, keep it going. Yes, there's the finish line. Come on. Don't roll it here. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Oh, that's steep. Oh, that's steep. Oh, that's really steep. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Mm. Okay, is that at least two stars? Please tell me. Please tell me that's two stars. Three? No. Two. Dang it. All right. On to the next one. Oh, gee whiz, this one looks cool. I mean, it looks the same, just uh, from a different angle. That's kind of how these uh, these levels are set up. I would kind of like to see uh, a level editor, too. I, 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 it would be kind of fun to make, like, your own custom levels. I don't know if that's, like, stuff that he has already stated that he has planned. Sorry, Cone. Get out of my way. I apologize. Maybe on stream I'll go back and try to get all these perfect scores. But for now, I'm just kind of trying to show off the game. That's why I'm not being super serious about it. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably take, how am I supposed to go over that rock? <laughs> oh my god. Jump it, maybe? Yay, that worked! But anyway, yeah, I could be super detailed about this, but uh, that just sounds kind of boring. So I'm just kind of winging it. And how the heck am I supposed to get over this rock? Good god. Oh, that is brutal. Yay! No, oh, yes. Yes, I did it! And I didn't hit any cones. How the heck? That should not be possible. That should not be po- of course. That should not be possible and I just get immediately stuck in these rocks. Oh, that's- that's how it goes, I guess. There's just- this is just inhumane. There's no- there's no reason that this truck should be going over this stuff, but it is. I don't get it, man. I'm actually doing pretty good, though. I think I've only hit one cone so far. And with a map like- this is like- uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, what I was saying is, uh, this map seems a lot harder, so I was kind of surprised that I hadn't hit- How the heck am I supposed to- Uh, oh, wait, there you go. 
The grip on these things is on these tires is freaking ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, speed run. Here we go. Oh, sorry, sorry, butt bone. Oh, you're probably sh shattered into a million pieces. Am I stuck again? Come on. There you go. When in doubt, just launch yourself out up in the air with a. Uh, no explanation. I'm sure. I'm sure it makes sense. Maybe there's like an air cannon underneath this thing, or it's aliens. I I always go on the side of aliens. I just hit that freaking cone because I bounced off this rock. <sighs> I can see how this game might be uh, might get a little bit uh, I say frustrating later on. Finish line. Finish line. There's the finish line. Your cone fell over. I'm not gonna worry about it though. There we go. All right. What's that? Two stars again. Oh, three! Yay! I hit three cones and still got a three stars. That's that's pretty good. All right, one stage left in this level. I think we can do it. I think we can get the three stars here, and if I sound like I'm drunk a little bit, I should probably address this. Uh, I've been up for about 27 hours, so I'm starting to get a little bit slap happy, and it's kind of affecting my speech. I didn't drink before recording this, so don't worry. I'm not drunk, but I think that would be a fun stream to do. Drunk BeamNG. I've seen people um, suggest that a lot, and I'm like, oh, that'd be fun, but I've never actually done it, and I don't want to say something stupid on stream, but I don't think I will, but I think it'd be fun. Do you guys want to see a drunk Beam and G stream? Let me know down below. I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx myself, but hold on. Knock on wood. Okay, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Um, I haven't hit any cones yet somehow. This is crazy. Oh, yes. I still didn't hit it. Yes. Can I get a perfect run on the first try? That would be amazing. Yes. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Okay. Where's the next one? Oh, oh, don't fall off the cliff. Don't fall off the cliff. Okay, careful, careful. There we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, this one's a turn, so you gotta be careful here. Oh, 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 I don't like the ones that are on a turn. Very careful. The throttle is very pushy. Very, very pushy. Okay, okay. Just squeeze on through. Yes! Yes, we're speed running it, baby! The world's slowest, uh, speed run here. Eh. There we go. Oh, that one looks... Oh, no, that one looks evil. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. No, flip it over, man. Mm, I hit the cone. Now I'm just... <laughs> there we go. I'm going to use one of my fail saves there. That's what you use it for, though, when you get in a predicament such as that. Uh, okay, I, I've hit one cone, but I, that should still be good for three stars. Yes. Yes. Oh, careful, man. Oh, man. The front of this car would just be absolutely wrecked at this point. No, the cone fell over. How am I supposed to? Now I have even less room. Oh. Yes, I still did it. Screw you. And there's the win. What am I stuck on? Okay, there we go. There we go. Just go straight, straight. Yes, that's a three stars. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 95%. That's good right there. That is, that is, that is pure bliss. All righty, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want to see more pure rock crawling in the future, make sure to let me know down below and hit that like button to let me know that you like this game and you want to see more. I think it's a pretty fun game. It is a very, very early access game. So just keep that in mind. But uh, it has a lot of potential, potential. And uh, the physics are pretty good. I love it. It's cool. I want to see more in it, though. You know what I mean? Like damage, first person, stuff like that. But with that, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe as well. Why did I say that last? I don't know. I'm losing it, man. I'm losing my mind.